Hello there, little scientists. I'm Dr. Fantastic. And today, we're going to learn about something really cool. Bad hospitals. Did you know there's a real bad hospital in Australia called the Tolga Bat Hospital? When bats get hurt or sick, they need a special place to get better, just like us. That's where bat hospitals, like the one in Australia, come in. Let's explore how we help these amazing little creatures. First things first, bats love to be cozy. When they're sick or hurt, they need soft, warm blankets. Look at this little bat. Isn't he adorable all wrapped up? The blankets feel just like their mom's winks, keeping them warm and safe while they get better. Wow, who knew bats loved snuggling, right? Even superheroes need naps. When bats are babies or too weak to find their own food, they drink milk just like human babies. The hospital workers even use tiny syringes to feed them, like a baby bottle. As they grow, guess what their favorite food is? Fruit. Bats love juicy fruits like bananas, mangoes, and melons. They munch, munch, munch to get all the energy they need. Hmm, who else wants a yummy banana now? Fun fact, fruit bats are also called flying foxes because they have big wings and faces that look a little like foxes. Isn't that cool? When bats eat fruit, they chew it up and eat all the yummy parts. But here's something funny. They spit out the parts they don't want. The bits they spit out are called spat. And guess what? When they spit out seeds, it helps plants grow. Bats are like nature's little gardeners. Now for the best part, bats love flying. After they feel better, they practice flying again so they can go back into the wild. Flying helps them get strong. It's their superpower. Whoosh! Off they go, up, up into the sky. We need bat hospitals to help injured or sick bats recover and return to the wild. Bats are super important for nature. They eat bugs like mosquitoes, spread seeds to grow new trees, and even help flowers by pollinating them. Did you know that while bats are flying, they send out special sounds from their mouths or noses? These sounds are so high-pitched that we can't even hear them. But to a bat, this sound is super important. The sound travels out and then bounces back when it hits something. This way, bats can tell exactly how far away things are and even how big they are. It's like they're creating a picture of everything around them, just using sound. This amazing trick is called echolocation. Let me tell you something really cool about flying fox bats. They have big eyes that help them see at night. And when they hang upside down, their strong feet hold on tight so they can rest. Isn't that amazing? Did you know that bats come in all shapes and sizes? Some bats are so tiny, they're no bigger than a bumblebee. These little ones, like the bumblebee bat, can weigh less than a penny and fit comfortably on the tip of your finger. They are the world's smallest mammal. But bats aren't all small, there are some that are huge. The largest bats, like the flying fox, have wingspans that can stretch up to six feet wide. That's as wide as a grown-up person lying down these gentle giants glide through the skies with ease. Okay, my little scientists, are you ready for some fun questions? Let's see how much you learned about bats today. I'll give you some choices, so put on your thinking caps. What 
do baby bats like to drink? Is it A, milk, B, soda, C, lemonade? That's right, it's A, milk. Just like human babies, baby bats need milk to grow big and strong. What's a bat's favorite food? Is it A, cookies, B, ice cream, C, fruit? You got it, it's C, fruit. Bats love munching on yummy fruit like bananas and melons. And the last fantastic question. What do bats use to see by sending out sounds that bounce back? Is it A, night vision, B, echolocation, C, super hearing? Drum roll, please. You got it. The answer is B, echolocation. That's the amazing trick bats use to Z with sound. You all did such an amazing job today learning about bats. Now you know how bat hospitals help our batty friends. Remember, bats are super cool and very important for nature. Keep exploring, keep learning, and stay curious, little scientists. See you next time for more fun adventures.